So many of the women and men only go for treatment when they have a symptom. So they're missing the whole point of prevention, early screening, early disease detection. It's about catching the dysfunction before it becomes a symptom. Um, oftentimes, our dysfunction starts years before we feel it. So thermography is a way to screen for that. And it's also known as digital infrared thermal imaging. It's done with a camera. It measures your body's temperature. And what you need to know is that your temperature does not lie. If you have variations in your heat pattern, whether it's cold or hot, it's gonna come through in these images. So your temperature is important, but also the patterns that your images are making. There's no radiation, it's non-invasive, and it does not touch you. We wanna see how your body is functioning. How's your blood flowing? How's your nervous system reacting? Is the lymphatics congested? because lymphatics drain the toxins and waste from your body. Your body is made of flow systems. You have your lymphatic flow, your digestive flow, your nervous system flow, your hormones, and your energy. Thermography can pick up where the blockages are in those flow systems. And the basis of all this is tracking inflammation. Deeper than inflammation is toxicity. Because once you have toxicity, then you get inflammation. So one of the reasons thermography is for early disease detection is because it can pick up cancer cells um, when it's about the size of a grain of rice. So that's at about two years. So you will have had cancer forming in your body for about two years. Um, it takes a mammogram eight years before it actually detects the calcification. At that point, it could be about the size of a dime, and that's over four billion cells.